Have you ever wondered how to move a container from one host to another or from one computer to another while preserving the data? In this video, I will show you how to package a container that is already started in your environment and move it to a different computer and also preserve the data that is in the volumes of this system. Let's get started. Previously, I made a video on how you can start a Docker container for PyHole, which is a DNS server that helps you block advertising and tracking software using DNS level filter. Now, as you see, I customized my system in here. I added a lot of domains in my block list. And let's say I want to move the server and copy it to a different environment. So I have this running on a Linux server using the IP address 172.20.0.21. I'm logged in using SSH right now to the server and I'm using the docker ps command. And I see here my pyhole container and all the listening ports, all the things we've seen before. Now, before we start packaging this application, it's important to know that the volume data that is stored on this container does not move once you package your application. You have to manually copy all the files that are in the volumes of this specific container you are trying to migrate or move to a different host and you have to move that manually as well along with the image or the backup of the container. So now let's go ahead and see how we can find out this critical information. So I'm going to use the docker inspect command which allow me to see inside any container and I'm going to look specifically for the container I'm trying to migrate in this case it's called pyhole according to the names. So I'm gonna inspect this container. This will show me all kind of information inside like the network, all the port assignment, the host names, all information you would need to manage your container. But we need to go up and we can find in here the mounts. So this container is using the bind mount method instead of using the persistent volume. If you haven't seen the last video, you can learn more about bind mount versus persistent volumes. But basically we see in here that there is a source or a local folder on our system, which is home, last the course, DNS, Etsy, PyHole, leading or pointing to Etsy slash PyHole inside the container. So all these two folders are in sync. And also we have another folder in here that contains the DNS mask or the DNS server. And it's also pointing at Etsy slash DNS mask dot D inside the container. So these are the two folders that we need to copy over to the new system to make sure that they are getting the data moving with the container image as well. So now once we learn about our volume location, now let's also stop our container because we cannot back up a container as it's running. So we need to make sure that we stop the container first so we are not losing any data. And I'm going to use for this the command sudo docker stop and then the name of the container. So my container is called by hole. Once the system spit out the same name, that means the container is stop. We can also make sure using the docker ps. And as long as we don't see the image in here, we make sure it's stop. But we can also put a flag after the ps command, which is dash a. And this will also show us the stopped containers. You see right now the status on this one is exited or stopped. This is the container we are trying to back up or make a snapshot of. And we're going to need the container ID for this. And now we just need to use the command sudo docker commit. And the commit command will allow us to export this container into an image that can be deployed in a different system. And after the docker commit, we just need to paste our container ID. We got this using the docker ps slash a. And finally, we need to give it a name. So I can call this pyhole backup, for example. And this will back up my container in its current state into an image called pyhole backup. We can verify this using the sudo docker images. This is the local repository for all our images. You can see in here different images I used before, but also I see in here pyhole backup. And this image is now created 31 seconds ago and it has a size of 328 megabytes. So now we just need to make sure we export this image into a tar file so we can copy to our new system or new host. 
and for this we just need to use the command sudo docker save and then mention our image name in this case it's called by hole backup and then we're gonna put an arrow and just point out what name we need to specify for this image so i want to call this also by hole backup and this will be dot tar extension and once we hit this now the file has been created we can verify right now we are in the home folder and we have a by hole backup dot tar so this is our backup file and we also have our volumes inside the dns folder so let's check this out inside the dns folder we have the first bind mount or the first folder and the second folder so we need to copy the two folders or the two volumes along with the tar file to the new system to be able to start our container in the same settings and same state now we also need to re-enable the container because now we have the image we can also use the docker start command to start our container again so now my new environment will be the windows environment i have docker engine running in here and i just want to need to make sure i copy the by hole configuration and files as is from the Linux to the Windows with the least amount of effort. So now I have logged in using SFTP to my server. I see here my by hole back tar. This is the image backup. And I also have my DNS folder with inside of it, the two folders that we need. So I wanna copy these as well. And once I have all the files in here on my Windows, I wanna start switching to PowerShell. And I have to change the directory now to the desktop where I saved all these files. And from here, I need first to import my image, the tar file that we exported from the Linux environment. We can use the docker load versus the docker save we use on the other side. And we're gonna specify the file name using the dash i flag. We're gonna define the pyhole back.tar and we're just gonna hit enter. As you see, this is copying the layers from inside the image and it did load the image. So now if we check from the Windows environment, the docker images command, as you see, my pyhole backup has been imported. It has the same size. Now what we just did was just copying the image over to the new system. We have no container running as of yet, meaning that importing the image does not automatically start a container for you. As you see, docker ps will show us nothing. So now we just need a simple docker run command like this one where we define the name of the container by hole we are opening different ports using the port mapping and we are also defining the most important part is the volume or the bind mount mapping as you see in this case i'm using the print working directory the correct syntax which is in this case the desktop where i copied my etc dash by hole and i also copied my dns mask over from the first system and I'm also defining the image name and I need to make sure I'm not using pyhole. This is the official image. I need to make sure I'm using my own backup, which is called pyhole backup. So if I define the correct image name and I also assign the volumes that were created on the older system, this will make sure I copy all the configuration over with the newly created container. Once I hit this, as you see, now I go back a Docker container ID. Now all I need to do is to test it out and I can use the local address in this case or I can just use the private IP address of this machine which is 10.10.100.25 and then define the port 8080. And as you see, if I go into the admin panel, I am able to copy the same container from the Linux environment to the Windows environment by copying the volumes, manually moving them to the newer system and also backing up the image to a tar format and loading it into the other environment also the GUI which was the DNS server running in here it does recognize it as a stack for some reason but it does work exactly the same way and the best thing is we got a snapshot exact replica over our container between two hosts with the minimal effort and that's how you move docker containers or migrate docker containers between hosts and also how to move the bind mount or volumes attached to your containers to your newer host. Thank you for watching.